Hey guys, flying in for today's workout. We have a four minute window of 15 deadlifts, 12 either toes to bar or V ups, and then between 30 to 50 double unders. All right, so the four hour deadlift, they're gonna be relatively lightweight. So remember that with our deadlift, if we're using the barbell, we're in this mid shin position, our weight is in our heels, legs are bent enough for us to feel good tension in our hamstrings, and our back is straight, shoulder blades pull back and together, chest is up, and we are looking to where the floor meets the wall. We are going to raise hips and shoulders together until we get above our knees, and then we open our hips up, and then reversing that, sending our hips back until we get to that knee position, and hips and shoulders lower together until the bar gets to the mid shin position, all right? So that is our deadlift with the barbell. We can also use kettlebell or dumbbell in this instance. Dumbbell deadlift can look like this. We can also use odd object. We can use the weighted uh, duffel bag or um, ruck bag. We can also use um, a backpack that's loaded with some weight. Okay, so that is our option uh, for the deadlift. And then we have toes to bar. Toes to bar, remember that we're trying to get our toes to the bar between our hands at the same time. So we have the luxury of having to pull a bar. Awesome. So remember that we're gonna try to get those toes to bar same time, so remember that people who have a toes to bar or are have a pull bar, getting your through that second rep can be somewhat difficult. So just remember, fight through that second rep uh, to get into our kip swing. Um, and then our V-ups, we have a couple options with V-ups. We'll go over the standard first. The standard, our heels are on the ground, backs of our hands are on the ground, shoulder blades on the ground, and then we are going to come up into the V position, touching our hands to our shins or our toes. We can also go knees to elbows from this position. We can also do the anchored hip hinge. We can use the rig, if not the K-bell or dumbbell. And then we have our double unders. If you are someone who has their doubles and uh, you're very adept at doing double unders, you're gonna be on the side of 50 reps. If you are someone who struggles still with double unders, um, great practice, lift stick, closer to 30. We'll give you some options in our write-up and it's gonna be a great day, let's get after it.